Hi guys, my name is Doug YYZ on YouTube. I make videos about Canadian personal finance, uh, investing as a beginner, and review videos, how-to videos, stuff like that. I'll just say again, I am a beginner investor, so I don't have that much experience and I don't wanna give out advice, but this is more just a snapshot into what my portfolio looks like. I find those videos interesting. I know people have found mine interesting in the past. So that's what we're doing today an update of my portfolio, my tax free savings account in Well Simple Trade as of July 5th, 2022. The last time I did one of these videos just for comparison was May 4th, 2022, so roughly two months ago. In that video, my tax free savings account was at $37,779. And today, two months later, we're at $37,554. Doesn't seem like I lost that much money and things have been very turbulent lately very chaotic with like threats of a recession coming and inflation being the highest it's been since like 1970. There's a lot of people who are worried and not optimistic. Some people who started investing and are pulling out. I'm not doing that. And even though it doesn't look like I lost a lot of money, I actually have. If we go back to look at the graph, I've been contributing consistently uh, over these last three months around uh, 700 to $1,000 every two weeks when I get paid. So even though I've been contributing, I haven't made money. That's because it's continued to drop. So I'm down 10% over the last three months, which adds up to quite a bit. It's $4,000. And the reason why I'm optimistic, they say don't try to time the market. It's very difficult to do that and come out on top. So that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just taking a more optimistic attitude and consistently putting money in, consistently buying stocks, because in the future, you're gonna look back at this time and be like, hey, Good on me for continuing to buy. Those stocks I bought at that time were at such a discount. And now my overall price, my average price for whatever holding it is, is gonna be lower than uh, people who buy when it's booming only. Just to kind of prove that I'm not too worried and how optimistic I am about this, even though I've lost that $4,000 over the last three months, I still took myself on a trip to Europe. I have my credit card bills are full with their balance, I need to pay down, but I'm still investing, still putting money aside for that and making it a priority. My focus with this account is really on dividends. I put together a spreadsheet to start tracking how much I'm bringing in per month and setting myself a little goal of trying to bring in $200 a month in dividends by the end of the year. Right now, it's averaging out at about $120 a month. My best month was April and that's pretty much thanks to Scotiabank, which brought almost $80 in, uh, in dividends. And Scotiabank is one that pays out quarterly. So my strategy to get closer to that $200, let's look at what I'm buying, how I'm trying to get there. So I think the main driver in this is just trying to find things that pay more a higher yield. For me, real estate investment trusts are kind of like a safe bet. TNT and INO are two of them that I've bought a lot recently. For example, since my last video in May, I bought 134 shares of TNT, which now has a yield of almost 9.5%, which is it's pretty high. And just a reminder of why I like TNT, they have 46 properties across Canada, 96% occupancy rate, so there's not a lot of vacant units at all in their portfolio, and more than three quarters of their tenants are either government or credit um, companies. And both of those are very reliable tenants to have. The government is always going to pay their rent on time and in the full amount. So that's why TNT is a pretty safe, um, well, I feel safe investing in that and putting more and more money into that. So in total, I have 221 shares of TNT and I'm expecting to start receiving $10.86 a month, which doesn't seem a crazy amount, but you add that to all the other positions I have in other companies. Like if you look at INO, for example, um, I'm expecting that to bring $9.77 a month, a month. So that is pushing me over $20 with just those two um, stocks. Another reason why I'm not slowing down with investing, even though we're in a dip right now, is over all time, I'm still up 26% um, or 28%. I'm still trying to be optimistic and look at, you know, in the long run, uh, it's better. Stocks are at a discount right now, so get them while they're cheap. If you've been thinking about investing or if you do already and you want to change your investing platform, I've been really happy with Well Simple Trade. 
It's got a very easy to use interface. The mobile app is great, um, just very clean and straightforward. But the big reason I decided to go with Wealthsimple was because they offer free Canadian trades. Not many other providers do that. Um, if you're looking to trade foreign stocks, then there are foreign exchange fees and that's where they make some of their money. So maybe look for another platform. But for me, this works perfectly. If you want to sign up for Wealthsimple Trade and give it a try, I encourage you to use my link in the description below because if you do and you start trading, we'll both get a free stock and it could be valued anywhere as high as something like Shopify or more, or actually Shopify just had the stock split, so it's not worth that much now. Anyways, you could get a really expensive stock or one that's only worth a couple dollars, um, but you won't know unless you sign up using my link and uh, get started trading. Please drop me a like, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see where I end up with this portfolio. If you wanna see how it's progressed so far up to this point, check out the playlist on my channel and uh, leave me a comment what kind of videos you wanna see me make. If you wanna see me do any of those kind of like uh, millennial money budgeting videos, I thought about making something like that. It's gonna be a lot of work to put together um, some charts and a spreadsheet. So if it is something that you wanna see, let me know in the comments. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.